welcome to our video about Resurrection Garden. You should have your Easter in a bag. Um, if you haven't received it, please reach out to me and we'll get it to you. Inside the bag, there is a prayer that we're going to start with this afternoon. And if you'll pray with me, the Lord be with you and also with you. This is another day, O oh Lord. I know not what it will bring, but make me ready for whatever happens. If I'm to stand up, help me to stand bravely. If I'm to sit still, help me to sit quietly. And if I'm to do nothing, let me do it fearlessly. Make these words more than words and give me the spirit of Jesus. Amen. I love that prayer and that is in your bag and it's one that we will continue to use all the way through Easter. So in your bag, if you have gotten in there, you see the card that says Resurrection Gardens. It's a little label. And inside you have a picture and some directions on how to do yours. And there are some things inside. Inside your bag, you're gonna have a little kind of a cup that you can plant things in. We're gonna use that for our tomb. You should have some purple ribbon, some flowers, a piece of linen cloth, and then there's also some popsicle sticks if for some reason you couldn't find um, sticks outside or if you wanted to use popsicle sticks, you could. So some things you're gonna need from home to have before you're ready to start is some kind of pie-shaped container. It could be a regular pie plate, it could be um, a foil one that maybe you found, it could be just the bottom of a terracotta pot, and you can use that because you're gonna put your dirt in there. So you're gonna need dirt, some potting soil, you're gonna need some grass seed, you're gonna need some sticks, and I, I brought quite a few in because I'm going to make three crosses with my sticks, and a lot of times if you wanna use three crosses, you think of the, um, the two people when Jesus was put on the cross, there were two other people who had been thieves next to him and he um, was on the cross with them. So there were three crosses on the hill of Calvary. So you may want to have that. You need some water, a squirt bottle works great. You're gonna need that when you're completely finished. And then if you wanted to add more flowers, if you wanted to make some characters, if you wanted to um, do something and make yours a little different. Oh, and the other thing I forgot to mention is you wanna have some kind of stone. And we're gonna talk about that this are gonna go on the tomb and roll the stone away. And you probably need to have a permanent black marker or some kind of black marker because you wanna be able to write on your stone. All right, get all of your things ready and I'll be back in just a minute and show you how I'm doing on my resurrection garden. All right, I hope you've gotten all your materials out. I went ahead and made my crosses. I took the little purple ribbon that was in there and made three crosses, so those are ready to go. One of the other things that you may want to do before you actually start putting everything together is write on one side of your stone that you have. I'm gonna write he is risen. And we know we say that on Easter and then the response is always, he is risen indeed. All right, as you get started, the first thing you're going to wanna to do is put kind of a layer of dirt. If you have some pebbles, you could put some little rocks or little pebbles, but you're gonna put some layer of dirt in your pie plate just to kind of cover it up. And then you wanna leave enough dirt so that you're gonna be able to kind of cover up your tomb and put your grass seed on. So if you wanna go ahead and put your dirt in your pie plate so that you kind of got a layer and have your crosses ready and we'll be ready for the next step. All right, now I'm gonna take my tomb, what we call our tomb, and I'm gonna put a little piece of linen in there um, the Bible talks about Jesus being wrapped in cloth, and when people passed away, they wrapped him in cloth. And I'm gonna lay that in my tomb, because we know that when Jesus arose, all they found left in the tomb was that cloth, and he was not there. So I'm gonna put my tomb in my gra on top of my dirt, and I'll be ready for the next step, which is gonna mean I'm gonna start covering the tomb up with dirt. So I'm gonna go ahead and start doing that now. 
All right, my resurrection garden is almost complete. You can see I put the stone in front of the tomb. I've added my flowers. I have my crosses. I have the dirt. You could certainly get some real flowers and put some real flowers in yours if you wanted to. The last step is very important though, is you're gonna take your grass seed and you're gonna just sprinkle your grass seed all around your resurrection garden. And then you're going to water your grass seed. And I'm just gonna use my spray bottle and water the grass seed and kind of saturate, saturate it pretty well, especially the first time, and then water it every day as you're watching your grass should come up. So on Easter morning, you have taken your resurrection garden, the grass has grown, it has resurrected, and you can take your stone and roll it away and it'll say he has risen he has risen indeed all right i love i cannot wait to see your pictures of these we're also going to have a zoom gathering next sunday not this sunday but next sunday and i'd love for you to bring your resurrection garden to show us so that we can see it because we're going to talk about being in the garden of gethsemane so we'll see you soon bye bye